Hello everyone, uh, Wag here. I just want to make a quick video and uh, answer a couple questions that I've been seeing come up about the body camera videos that have been posted um, out of the um, Vegas shooting evidence recently. Um, I'm going to go over three questions and the answers to them. Uh, these are quite commonly asked and I'm hoping to give you some information uh, if you have these questions yourself and you haven't seen the answers for them yet. Uh, so the first question is, um, what is the deal with the timestamps? Uh, I've got my channel pulled up here as you can see some of these videos. For example, this one, I hopefully you can see my mouse pointer has a timestamp. You can see here in the upper right hand corner, timestamp on this one, this one, no timestamp. So instead of going into an in-depth explanation for this, I'm going to point you over to Sleep Depth's channel here, which is one of my featured channels, and go to his videos. And we've got this Axon Answers Questions. Um, this is a great video. Go check it out. Like it. Uh, subscribe to Sleep Depth's channel if you haven't already. Um, but basically, uh, what you're going to see in this is that the older version of the Axon uh, Flex cameras, so there are two versions that I'm aware of, Axon Flex 1 and Axon Flex 2. The Axon Flex 1 does not have a timestamp on the screen. The Axon Flex 2 does. So, it, you know, it, is, it could it be possible that the LVMPD is modifying the Axon Flex 2 footage to make it look like Axon, Axon Flex 1? Well, yes, you can see Axon Flex 1 here is a, it's a, it's a, it's a thinner frame. It's, a, it's not as wide. It's also 480p there, as Sleep Depth has pointed out. Axon Flex 2 is a wider frame and has a timestamp. And also this symbol here, which I, I believe is the Axon logo. And it's also showing up in 720p. So it's a uh, high definition. And uh, LVSA is the Las Vegas Shooting Archive channel, um, who also contributed to this. Check out his channel also, if you haven't. Okay, so that was question number one. Question number two is what's the deal with the time being off on the timestamps? So let me get back to one of the videos here. Officers under fire. Here's a great one on Sleep Depth's channel. So the office, these officers are under fire here, um, which means that it you know, had to be in the time window of when the shooting was occurring a little bit after 10 p.m. But if you look up here, uh, this is one of the questions I ask. Why does the timestamp say 10-2? I thought the shooting was on 10-1. And why does it say 5 a.m.? I thought the shooting was you know, in the evening. Well, this time is Zulu time. That's what the Z means. It doesn't say AM or PM. It says Z. Z is Zulu time. I didn't I have any idea what Zulu time was until I looked into this. Um, but here over on the accent, and I'll post these uh, links here in the description of the video. Um, but uh, Axon uh, cameras work in Zulu time. Zulu time is seven hours faster or seven hours ahead of Las Vegas time. So if you want to know what these timestamps mean, you just subtract 7 from this number. So was this taken at 5, 10 a.m.? No, it was taken at 10, 10 a.m. Okay, just subtract 7 from it. You'll only be able to do this on the cameras that have, or the Axon you know, Flex 2 camera footage that has the timestamp. Uh, but that will at least allow you to tell what time it was. They do this for consistency. If you read this through this article, they do this to maintain uh, basically the integrity of the cameras. If they're all, if all Axon Flex 2 camera footage all has the same time code, then it's all consistent across the line. I think it's a really great idea that they did this for consistency's sake. Then you never have to try to figure out which time zone it was in. It's always going to be in 24-hour time format, and it's always going to be in Zulu time. All right, so question number three is, what's the deal with the audio? Why does the audio cut out in many of the videos during the first 30 seconds? This isn't consistent across the line. Some videos do start with audio right in them, but many of them do have the first 30 seconds cut out. Why? Why is the question? Well, the Axon Flex 2, and I think maybe even Flex 1 cameras, I'm trying to look through here because I don't know off the top of my head, have something called buffering mode, which is 
an awesome idea, and I, I think it's great that they do this. What it does is it's constant. So the camera, the, the body camera, is constantly recording. It's constantly recording, and then it's just dumping the footage. When an officer presses the record button to start recording, what happens is because of this buffering mode, it actually takes 30 seconds because it's constantly recording. It actually takes 30 seconds prior to the officer hitting the record button and it adds it to the footage. So you get those first 30 seconds prior to them hitting the footage. So if say that the, say that an officer is getting shot at and he has to duck, he has to jump out of the way, duck for cover and then hit hit record on his body cam, he would have missed the beginning shot at part. Well, because of the buffering mode, it will back up 30 seconds prior to him hitting that button and it will have caught that um, footage. The downside of buffering mode is it does not capture the audio. When you activate the event mode, the buffered video, not audio, captured directly before the event, up to 30 seconds, will be saved and attached to the event in permanent memory. It does not capture the audio. So that's what's happening is that the officer is hitting record. It's using the buffering mode to capture the 30 seconds prior to that, and it does not contain the audio. So if you see a um, video without audio, usually you can just skip to about 30 seconds in and you'll start to see the audio. And that's it. Those are the question and answers. If you have any other questions uh, about the body cam videos, please, uh, you know, just comment in the video or hit me up on Twitter and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. I do read, at, I want to say 99% of the comments. I do miss some. Um, uh, I moved recently and, and I was kind of out for a couple of days, but I tried to read every single comment. I may not respond to all of them, but I try to re read every single comment that's left for me on my videos. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, I look forward to seeing your comments and the research that everybody's doing. Thank you.